Hello everyone, my name is Oleg and today we're going to go ahead and talk about my experience of trading on iMac and I'm going to show you how I use my split screen, what kind of platforms I use. I'm going to also show you how I use my iPad for mirror imaging and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Before I start recording my screen and showing you guys everything about the iMac and the iPad Pro that I use, I want to make sure that you guys see what my normal setup looks like and it's going to obviously be different for you if you don't have the same desk or you have a completely different setup. Uh, but I have 2019 iMac uh, with 40 uh, gigabytes of RAM and it's 3.6 gigahertz uh, for a processor and I have 2019 iPad Pro that I use. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the screen and I'll see you guys on the other side. The first thing that I would like to show you guys is using the example of my Thinkorswim platform that I use, my account. Um, I tend to trade with only one screen, but I would like to show you that there are options uh, with up to, I believe it's 8, 4, 32 different screens. So you can have up to 32 different screens, which would look crazy, it would look something like this, with all kinds of different ticker symbols, with all kinds of different charts. Obviously, it's extremely clustered, if, and if you're not using any secondary monitors then it would be very hard to read uh, those stickers and those charts but it is possible to do two it is very possible to do four maybe even six in my case i tend to only do two at a time and we can go ahead and look that and by the way once you have everything set up with all of the indicators that you want to have on the left hand side you actually have to set it up on the right hand side you cannot just extrapolate the settings from the first screen onto the next one uh, if you play around with the settings long enough then it will save it in the system and then once you open the second chart then you will be able to have all of those previous settings that you had set up on the first screen just appear right away on the second screen but with that being said, that was number one thing. So working on this platform, having this big resolution and this big screen, massive screen, helps a lot. Next thing I would like to say is that we have an iPad, which is running right now. We just connected to my iPad Pro that I showed you before. And we're going to go ahead and start recording the screen on this one. We have a couple of seconds left. And I'm going to show you what exactly it looks like once you decide to transfer something onto your secondary screen and use your iPad as a secondary monitor for your iMac. So let's go ahead and open our browser. We have our browser right here. And let's go ahead and minimize that and drag it over to our iPad. So here's our iPad and we can maximize it and we can easily use that as a secondary window um, it is not touch screen friendly, uh, so you would have to use your mouse to basically guide yourself through all that information that you need to see on the secondary screen, but it's uh, using Wi-Fi and it's also using uh, Bluetooth to broadcast the screen from your iMac onto your iPad. The third feature is going to be the most used by me feature is the split screen mode. So for the split screen mode, unfortunately, you cannot use it with your um, TD Ameritrade Think or Swim platform. You can if you only do it on the half of the side of your actual front um, desktop, right? Because this is not this is their full screen mode. You, your their full screen mode doesn't mean that it's opening it in the whole new window. My browser on another side can be open in a full window, which I tend to use. So if I go and I do collaboration of these two screens, you can have this chart right in the middle you can adjust right and you can have your chart on the right hand side and you can have your news on the left side so if you're searching for something or if you're uh, you know going to YouTube and you want to watch a uh, TED talk then you'll go ahead and start doing that and you can do your own research basically it helps you multitask so it's not a promotion uh, of the iMac you can obviously have those features on the iPad and you can have those features on MacBook Pro. I'm sure that a lot of Windows, Android devices have that too. But this is just about the ability to trade, get the news and maximize your power, maximize your utility, uh, maximizing your output 
whenever it comes down to trading, whenever it comes down to you learning something new and reading something. Um, so this is why I like it the most and I hope you guys can relate to this and if you do have any questions please let me know if there are any hotkeys that you need help with please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up with this video. Thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the other one.